Thank you very much. No stilettos. I'm so disappointed. I know, right? But now I have to rethink my entire choice, right? Well, we just heard from Nikki D. Ray saying that rain is going to be coming in. Well, why let that rainwater just disappear into your yards when you can capture it and help the, the environment? Yeah, it makes a big difference. We're here today with Lauren Field with Chesterfield County. He's the outreach coordinator. Lauren, we met years ago making one of these beauties. We're, we're talking rain barrels today. Yep. You're doing this uh, through workshops and really what diff we're talking about recapturing rainwater but what difference will these really yeah. make well it's a really good way to conserve water so if you're watering your garden or you're washing your car you don't have to turn on the tap you're getting free water from the sky uh, but the main reason we like to push these is because they're a really great way of reducing polluted runoff. So whenever rainwater hits the ground or when snow melts, that running water picks up pollutants like pesticides, fertilizers, pet waste. But by capturing at the end of the downspout with the rain barrel, you're reducing that runoff and then you have free water to use for your garden. Because it hasn't run over those surfaces yet, you're getting it before it's picked up the pollutants right. and then you get to put it back in, in wherever you're watering. Right, and you can use it in a place like your garden where it's going to infiltrate, soak into the ground and not become part of the runoff. Really, really neat. Lauren, are these readily available? And if so, how easy are they to put together? They're very easy to make. Um, you can get these food grade barrels on a lot of different online sources. We do use food grade barrels because we want to make sure that they didn't have a cleaning agent or some kind of chemical in it before because you might be using this water for your garden. So right. you want to make sure it's a food grade barrel. And you can get them pretty easily and they're very easy to make. We're talking about making them because these can set you back a pretty penny if you just went to the store to buy one already finished. That's true. Making one, there's a big cost difference. That's true. Our workshops are only $40, and that just covers the material. Mm -hmm. But if you, like you said, if you went to a retail outlet, you could probably pay twice, three times that much. Tell us how, where do we begin? Yeah. Okay, well, like I said, we use the food grade barrel. You got to make sure that it's a food grade barrel so it's nice and safe. And all I have to do is drill a couple of holes. So we use, in our workshops, a regular drill with a 15 16 hole saw attached. You have to draw a hole, uh, drill a hole near the top of the barrel, mm -hmm. that's for an overflow pipe. Mm -hmm. And then and you drill that, a hole. that little bad boy right there. That's right. Okay. That's right. And then you drill a hole near the bottom where you insert your standard size hose bib. Mm -hmm. So like I said, it's a 15 16 hole saw. It makes a nice tight uh, fit for the hardware so there's no leaks. Mm -hmm. Right. And really, you don't necessarily have to be someone from this old house to do this. It's pretty easy. It's very easy, yes. All you have to do is literally put a, nut, a washer on a nut and on a, on a, on a screw. Yeah. Somewhere there exists a picture of me uh, shimmied <laughs> into one of these buckets, like screwing it in from the other side. It, it can be done. Yeah, tell us how surprising fast this thing fills up. It fills up really quickly. This is only 55 gallons. Mm -hmm. but it looks you, huge, though. Right. But if you have, uh, like, a 1,000-square-foot roof and a one-inch rainfall, it's going to give you more than 600 gallons. So, 600 gallons. Right. So a lot of people, what they like to do is have multiple rain barrels linked together by the overflow pipe. And so if you have two, three, or four at the end of your downspout, one can overflow into the next. So you can double, triple your capacity that way. That's Lord, amazing. One of the things you have to be pretty careful about, and that's why the screening is here. Of course, we didn't get to that part yet. You're retaining water. Right. We talk all year long about making sure that you're clearing water from standing in your yard. So mosquitoes, that's what I'm getting at. Right. So that's what, you have to watch these kind of carefully. That's true. And that's the main reason for the overflow pipe is to make sure that the water is drained down below the level of the screen. So there's no standing water above the screen, so you're not breeding mosquitoes. Mm. And it's just a standard size insect uh, insect screen that you would normally use in your windows, and then you just lay it across the top of the barrel, screw the lid on top of it, and it keeps it secure. What are some of the people that have made these in the past? What are they saying? How does it help? Uh, they, they love it. They, it's Like I said, it's free water from the sky that you can use. You don't have to turn on your tap. Uh, they do fill up really quickly, and so they have plenty of water year-round for their gardens. They love it. You mentioned, you know, the cost for this workshop is about $40. That's right. These fill up pretty quickly for you because these are so popular. That's right. And so we do suggest that people register online early because they do fill up quick. So the barrel fills up quick and the classes fill up That's quick true. as well. That's right, true, right. Uh, you know, after how long would you say from start to finish this is going to take, Lauren? About 20 minutes. Really? Just 20 minutes? 20 minutes to put together a barrel, and we're going to be there to help, too. We have trained volunteers. I'll be there leading the classes. So if anybody at the class needs help, we're there to help them. And, like I said, 20 minutes to put together a barrel. And do you have to cut the, I'm sorry, uh, Jess, do you have to cut the downspouts at all? You do. You cut the downspout to about 8 inches above the top of the barrel, put the 45-degree elbow over it so it simply pours into the barrel. 
And then you might want to keep the part of the downspout that you cut off so that if you take your rain barrel in during the winter, you can reattach it. Mm -hmm. Smart. Yeah, that's a good idea. Recycle. Drain these in the wintertime. We've got some information to share. Lauren, thank you so much for giving us the 101 on these. Pretty uh, pretty cool stuff. Rain yes. barrel workshop coming up, Chesterfield County Fairgrounds, 10,300 Courthouse Road. Be sure to head to our website, wtvr.com slash VTM for all the details. Make sure you get signed up early, as Lauren said. They fill up quickly. Lauren, thank you so thank much. You. Well, today we're talking about rain barrels, but let's enjoy the sunshine today. Let the rain come another day.